I'm Rich Madison. I am the motion tracking R&D director at Talos Visionics, and today I want to show you my IS-1500 GPS denied navigator. The IS-1500 is a visual and inertial sensor head, so it has a camera, accelerometers, gyroscopes, sends that information down to a computer on my back, a wearable computer. And from that, we calculate your position and your orientation. And we can use that position orientation to feed to soldiers so they always know where they are, so they always know where their friends are uh, relative to the map, relative to the enemy. This is the video that the camera sees and on the left. And then we've taken that and on the right, we're drawing the, uh, the track of points that the camera uh, predicts. So pretty soon here, we'll see coming out of the bottom of the screen, uh, the position here as we walk up back to where we started. And we ended about two meters from where we started. That only works at uh, during the day when you have uh, light available because it's based on a camera. So we wanted to know how well would it work in the dark, so we took it to a cave uh, where it's dark, and not surprisingly, not nearly as well. We still have the, the gyroscopes and the accelerometers. We can still navigate, but we're much less accurate when we can't see. But we're gonna end up about seven meters off from where we, we started. So then we asked, okay, well, if, if we don't have enough light to see with that camera, what else can we do? Well, what you could try is, is a long wave IR camera. So here we have what, what our camera sees, what a long wave camera sees, and there there's plenty of texture to see. We track all these features with the camera. We navigate with the camera and the IMU, and then on the right is our little path as we're, as we're recovering it, and we come back to about uh, almost exactly where we started. Thank you for watching the quick walk around.